Hey, why don't you, why don't you intro us? Howdy ho, boys and girls. Are you ready for a, a hoot nanny of a stream? We're gonna have arts and we're gonna have farts and we're gonna have some donuts. Oh. And then after the donuts, I'm getting the frick out of here. <laughs> that head turn. Hey, just Eric. Good morning. Just like Dave said, we're having day nuts today. I'm sitting on my knees, or I'm sitting on my feet, so I'm a little tall, taller than Dave. <sighs> Dave's decided to join us today because we're having donuts from. We got donuts from Grainville Island because I needed to go to the art store to get paint. This place is it like really popular apparently. I find their donuts taste like packaged donuts. I gotta be honest. Everyone's very excited that you're here, Dave. You want to you want to scoot a little closer, Dave? Sure. Oh. Is it difficult to just like turn that camera? I just like don't want to show like. Mm, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we could um. Actually, will this work? No, it won't. Anyway, awkward. Uh, Chaos Panda, hello, Pink Rabbits, Misty, Dark Saber, and of course, Eric, hello. How are y'all doing? How's your weekend? Ben, it is now Sunday. This is apparently their world, world famous. famous. Wowie. What was it, honey dipped or something? Yeah, I believe so. It looks dry and sad. I've got to be honest. Please focus on the day nut. Well, it just looks dry and sad. Let's taste it, Dave. Y'all came here for art? <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we dinking it and sinking it? Like Good mythical morning style. Dink it. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it tastes like a basic donut. Anyway, there's some people behind us in line. And uh, I'm not wearing a mask, not surprisingly. Also, uh, like riding, no no personal space, right up against us. It's kind of annoying. And then like we like order our donuts and they, they like, have their donuts like in the back as like places do, like all stacked up and there's like labels for each donut. And they have one labeled right dead center in the middle, world famous honey dip. These mother huggers behind us go up to the to order. What are you famous for? I just like wanted. I was like, yeah, an anti-masker would not be like observant of. And you knew they had time to like read it because they were up we were on us. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean you're allowed to curse. It's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, they were like sniffing our butts basically as they. Looked at the donuts as well. Well, they were too, we, they were too busy sniffing our butts to the go. menu, Their Dave. Heads are just below the counter, <laughs> sniffing some ass. Yeah. Anyway. I literally did nothing today. Chaos. That's okay. Gotta take a break. Oh. Just like, I don't know, it's very basic. Let's try some churro. Hello, Kezzy. Elspeth! Hello. How are y'all doing? I Today we're going to be working on that 20 inch by 30 inch painting that I've been working on for like a week now. I'm just kind of like anxious to get it over with to be honest. Like, I'm kind of sick of work. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I don't know. Better just seems fairly raw on this one. Churro is supposed to be a bit raw. It's not a very flavorful for a churro, even if it is. Okay, also that's my goal today, doing nothing. Also did nothing today. I don't want to finish this today, but I'd like to get a good chunk of it left. Or a, a good chunk of it done. I think I've done 16 inches and there's 13 inches left on it. It'd be cool to get like 7 inches done today. But we'll see. Doing good, just eat, eat some chicken. I feel like I have to awkwardly wait for Dave to leave now. <laughs> I'm not used to chatting on Behance. 
I'm like, is there something I can like doodle on really quick? Leave Dave. Goodbye. <laughs> Dave wanted to hang out. I had leftover curry. How's it going with you and Dave? Oh, we're getting a divorce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the divorce papers are coming along great. And they can't come soon enough. Mm-hmm. We probably should have got you citizenship before we filed for divorce, but that's your problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. I have to go back to America. No, we're just joking. If you can't tell, we're joking. I'm <laughs> like, where's my scotch bong? Should we get Dave's, Dave's donut cam? <laughs> Maybe I could do some doodling. Maybe Dave can doodle for it. No, Dave needs to eat. Mm -hmm. Eat, Dave, so eat. Get the hell out of Casey's life. <laughs> well, I just, I just got to thinking like that. Uh, the the just chatting vibe isn't the same as it is like on Twitch. So, you know, you know what I'm saying here. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, nothing, well. nothing back today. Let's draw an apple. Estrus, hello. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Didn't you say Dave turned gay from his pride donut and that's why you're getting a divorce? Oh no, we've been joking about divorce for like ever. Oh yeah. That's just like our, our bu boomer humor. I've been joking about divorce since the day before we got married and before that. You know, one of those hilarious boomer jokes. I helped a friend sort and pack a bunch of her stuff yesterday. I'm really glad she's getting out of that house. It's riddled with black mold. Ew. Oh. Crafty, hello. Let's draw, oh God, let's draw Dave eating a donut. <laughs> Dave eating a donut. Didn't I draw a donut yesterday? There was some donut drawing in, uh, what's it called? Garlic drawing. <laughs> Dave's, I like that cube landscape. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about what to draw during a Behance stream, but we ended up doing food. We'll have to revisit the cube landscape. Isomat isometric landscape. I approve divorce jokes. Are you also a boomer? <laughs> this is Dave eating a donut, everybody. Hmm. I've said it before, but I don't think divorce jokes are boomer humor. They joke about hating each other. Hating their wives, yeah. And divorce is too real for them. So they don't like jokes about that. They just make jokes that are very real about how they hate everything about each other. Do we not say stuff like that? I don't know, do we? <laughs> I don't know, do we? <laughs> oh, she has to have a new place to live? Is all her stuff just in a truck? Who? What? Someone in chat. Casey, the TikTok with the sad music made me laugh so hard. It's a good one. See, I don't, we don't, say, we don't hate on each other, but we laugh at each other's misfortunes. She's, she's gonna be sleeping in her car for the foreseeable future. Ooh, that's not good. I, mean, I don't think that's good. Oh my god, I can't listen to you. I can't listen to your eating sounds much longer, Dave. Mm -hmm. I've got to be honest. <laughs> well, I've got half a fritter left. If only you could eat somewhere else. <laughs> if only you didn't invite me down here. <laughs> I felt bad because you were sad wow. that we were eating together. Good day. Good day to you, ma'am. <laughs> this is Dave angrily leaving and eating his donut. Mm. Well, it was a good chat with you, Dave. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You gather my things. Bye, Dave. 
See you in three and a half hours. See you when I'm dead. I don't know what that wow, I love my husband, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a a bra a brar. Hello. Out our house is too tiny for another person, but we're watching some of her animals. ASMR. It's not good. I like ASMR, but this is not good ASMR. This is like the bad ASMR. This is the bad kind. This is it's the bad kind. Trust in me. <laughs> anyway, here's our 30 inch by 20 inch piece. Jeez, my my desk my desk is a mess. Um, we are gonna be working on this today. I'm just realizing that. Oh. Well, look, I don't have to like tilt it anymore to like reach it. It's great. Though, unfortunately, this might be the last time I stream this piece because this is as far as I can push it until it hits my camera tripod. So, this is probably... Oh, the horse! I don't think we're even going to get to the horse today is the sad thing. Let me just bite this donut off cam. Wait, why what? Dave's gonna watch Jellystone. How am I? I'm fine, how are you? Later, Dave. Oh, my tea time. Dreams, hello. Chasso. Let's do this. Oh, I need insulin, actually. These donuts. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to the store today to get more of this guy. Leaf green. Wonderful color. Would recommend. I think I need therapy. Wait. <laughs> I'm digging this piece. Thank you. It's a side effect from my humiliation after yesterday is the last game. Oh, I think I need therapy now. Me too, Crafty. I like Dave. Hey, <laughs> Dave's all right. All right. Well, it is time to get to painting. We've been chatting for far too long. We've kicked Dave out. I'm still eating donuts. Collective high fives? What does that mean? How's the music volume, by the way? Are we good? Those Jackbox games were hilarious. Wait, did we just play one? Chair is so squeaky. Ooh, we're not gonna get to the unicorn today, but I think we'll be able to paint this cute little bunny. I like hugs. Oh, because none of us like hugs. Oh, high fives, I see. What is going on in Chad? Oh, have y'all? I'm trying to think of like this new stuff. Um you guys, is anyone watching Centaur World? I had heard so much about it and the style looked cute, but I'll be honest, I don't know that the humor is my vibe. 
sadly, but I've been watching, I've been watching it anyway, because I wanted to give it a shot. And I was curious where the story was going. It's on Netflix, if you don't know. Centaur World. I mean, it's been pretty interesting. I like looking at the character designs because they're silly. But the humor just ain't, it ain't for me, sadly. Whoa! Oh, your parking is ending in 10 minutes. Well, I've left the area. <laughs> Music's good. Good. I want to rewatch some of the moments so badly from the Patreon stream. Why aren't the videos on the channel? Because the channel I um, stream on isn't affiliated, so the video, the VODs don't get uploaded. I literally cannot upload them, so. <laughs> Sadly, um, if you do want to keep moments, you can clip them as they happen, but sadly they disappear after we're done, so. Which honestly is fine with me because it is patron only, so I don't really want everyone seeing it, you know? Um, but yeah, we're still trying to find a solution for patron streams because the lag on YouTube is just so bad. That's why I'm eating, I'm eating donut. Is it for kids? Yes, it's a kid show. Centaur World. Which, like, I realize that's why, like, the humor isn't for me, but there's a lot of, like, I like Adventure Time, I like Steven Universe. Like, not all kids shows just have to be, you know, for kids, but I do understand why I don't, it's not really for me. It's just a little, it's a little too childish, I think. Which is fine. I mean, there are a lot of adults that are enjoying it on Twitter, but it's just not... Not my vibe. What kind of donut? Got a, they're mostly just regular, just just regular donuts. We got a cinnamon one and a coconut one. Shoulda clipped some of the iconic moments. Yeah, shoulda. I love anime shows for kids too. Have you watched Owl House? I gave Owl House a shot. Like when the first episode came out, I watched the first episode and I just like wasn't vibing with it either. But I keep seeing stuff about it on Twitter. So I might have to give it another shot. Cause I just, I see so much about it. And it like makes me curious, but I'm just like, uh. Most shows that I do watch are something that I just kind of put in the background. Like I don't really sit down, unless it's like something me and Dave are watching. Dave and I are watching. It has to be like really, a really good story driven show that I like actually sit down and watch. But for the most part, most of the stuff I watch is like while I'm playing video games or like while I'm recording video or like drawing. I, I find it hard to just like sit down and watch a show cause I feel like I'm like, I could be working on something right now. I've got that, that old, I like, can't relax issue. <laughs> I can't just like let myself relax, so. It reminds me a bit of your style. Honestly, yeah, there were a lot of aspects. Are you talking about Centaur World? 
Oh, Hilda? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, Centaur World definitely reminded me of my style, but not Hilda now. Mm. Tried getting into Over the Garden Wall, but I found it boring. I love Over the Garden Wall. Infinity Train is good, I've heard about it. But I see it, it doesn't really seem to get me in. I haven't seen Amphibia, but I have heard about that too. I want to buy a Luca art book so badly. Something about the behind the scenes illustrations makes me so happy. Owl House and Infinity Train are very story driven and not very random, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, like Centaur World is, it has like a story, but I find the humor to be very LOL random, which like is not my vibe, sadly. I like the thumbnail of Centaur World. Pooty gives me salt crazy, but I don't know who I don't know what that is. <laughs> Pooty. I do not like this donut, ew. I'm not gonna eat this one, ew. <laughs> what the heck? Why does it taste like garbage? Ass. I looked up Hootie and I'm just getting Hootie and the Blowfish, so. I don't know what character that's from. You're gonna have to be a little more specific. My chair is, my chair is just so squeaky. Should I bring the paint a little closer? I've got the paint all the way at the bottom of my desk, away from like where I'm working. Like that makes no sense. I'm like bringing my paint brush like Way, way. It's a thick booty hill. Oh, yeah! The Centaur World designs are very butt based for some reason. I love me a butt, but like I said, I think it's just the whole like lol random. Haha, -ha, everything's a butt. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I, I like me a good butt, but it's a, I think it might be overkill a little bit for me. I mean, it is a kid show. I'm very, I'm very aware of that. I think it might just be, like, I love a good butt, but it needs to be, like, subtle and sometimes. Too much butt ruins the butt. It's basically the house itself, I think, or maybe it's just the door. Oh, Hootie's from Owl. Oh, Hootie is that... I keep seeing an owl drawn with a really long neck. Ah, that is him. <laughs> Why is it literally a door? Why is it literally a door? <laughs> the house itself is an owl. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna, this is, so like I said, I watched the first episode of Owl House. Now, I don't want to be negative. I'm just, I'm just talking about it because someone asked if I watch it. I, I'll be honest, I don't remember much about it. The one thing I do remember is that I just found the, like, they had, like, a comic relief character, and I just find those... So excruciatingly annoying that I kind of can't enjoy shows if there's like a comic relief character in it. It was that like bone, it was like the skull, skull headed dog creature thing. It just act, it acted, it just acted too stupid and it was just like really annoying to me. <laughs> like, it's just one of those characters that I feel like you could predict a situation they're like oh they're gonna act like this or, or or oh they're gonna make this joke or this is gonna happen with that character and like sure enough like every time I was like ha 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 I think that was like honestly one of the main reasons why I couldn't vibe with the show 
I honestly don't remember much about the actual story or like what happened in the first episode, but I just remember not liking the comic relief character and finding it kind of distracting. It was all. But maybe I should give these shows a second chance. I mean, I did give Centaur World a second chance. Dave and I watched the first episode and we were like, nope. But then I was like, I want to play Fall Guys tonight. I'll just keep watching Centaur World. Illustrate Dragons, hello. The creator of Centaur World is always posting butts in her Instagram. I guess it's her thing. Let's see. Which is fine. It, 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 okay. This is the best way, the best way I can, like, describe the whole, like, butt thing. I don't know. So, you know how, like, cursing, people curse. I, cursing does not offend me, but I do find that excessive cursing can get, like, annoying. Does that make sense? Like, you can say the F word, but, like, does it really need to be, like... Just because you can say it doesn't mean you shouldn't say it super often. Or another thing is like, and I've ranted you guys about this too, like wieners and wiener jokes. I love a good wiener joke, but like not everything has to be perverted, like constantly like that looks like a wiener, this looks like a wiener, haha, ha, that's what she said. Like it gets old, sadly. So that's how I felt the butt thing. I'm like, I love a good butt. Like if you sprinkle it in here and there, it's more effective and it'll, it'll be funnier when you see the butt. But when everything is a butt, it kind of loses that silliness and it's just like, yeah, okay, but I get it. Like, it's a butt. Does that make sense? <laughs> it just, it loses its, its, um, charm. It's cheeky charm. Can you recommend a good show? Mm, adventure time. <laughs> oh no. Mule needs butts. Oh, there's far less butts than I expected. I don't even see a butt. I'm nine posts deep and I don't see a butt. 12 posts deep, 15 posts deep. Okay, here we go. The 18th post, I see a butt. And then three more, I see a butt. There's way less butts than I expected. How dare you butt bait me like that? Did you spell it wiener? Right before E except after C. Oh, Rebecca Lancaster, hello. Oh, the comic relief character has a backstory and is its own person. It's not as 2D as it probably seems, but of course it's totally fine to not like it. Here's the thing, I've heard that, I've heard that excuse for other things that I didn't enjoy. And the, the conclusion that people said were excused things for the reason I don't like them didn't make me like this. Oh my god, that's the worst way to explain it. You can sit there and tell me that this character has like a deep backstory, but the fact of the matter is I find the character annoying. So it's not going to make me real. It's not going to make me like them. <laughs> the reason, I'm not going to say what show it is because I just like don't feel like talking about it because it's like whatever. But there's a, there's a certain show that came out a couple of years ago and I was like, I don't like this show. I find the characters annoying and people were like, oh, there's a reason why they act like this. And I got to the part and I was like, I still find them annoying. Like, I, it literally didn't make, it's still, I don't like, the, I didn't like it. So, I don't know. Adventure Time is one of the feel good watch anytime shows. Yes. I brought 
a dog toy yesterday because it's T-Rex wearing a unicorn floaty. That's why we don't see each other's butt to keep it special. Oh, Kezzy, do you spell it wiener wiener? I before E except after C. Yeah, you spelled it right. I've never seen Adventure Time? Oh, you should watch it. Scroll further. Oh, like I said, 18 posts to see my first butt and you said there were lots of butts. Also, I think I'm just not realizing you're Estrella. <laughs> Which is stupid because it's literally your name with a space in between it. Speaking of butts, Casey, have you seen Brian Cook's work, Butts on Things? I don't know. Brian Cook, Butts on Things. Don't know what that is. Oh! There's a taco with a butt. <laughs> is that just like a series of illustrations? Or like a book or something? Called Butts on Things? See, it's different. If you, if you're, literally your point is just to put butts on things. It's a little different too. I'm just a picky asshole. We can all just agree on that, right? <gasps> Eating donut. It was a Kickstarter. I've been found out. <laughs> as drill a troll as always. Hey, Mikey. Mm. I need to make y'all mods just in case. Mikey and chaos. Oh. I have some of the stickers in his calendar. All the booties look like they're holding in a secret. Yeah, a secret fart. <laughs> My god, he gave R2-D2 a butt. And the other one. <laughs> the other one. The round one. C- nope, not C-3PO. That's the dude one. <gasps> oh my god, I like the vaccine shot with a butt. I don't know why. He literally just draws things with butts. That's literally it. Literally everything is just a thing with a butt on it. Wow. He's committed to the bit. That That's some dedication right there. Ooh, I had, ooh, a fun night. Tell me more, Mikey. Gonna say I got way, oh no. Are you hungover? Do we have a hungover Mikey? That's butterful. You tried. A friend was like, let's get you super drunk. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you had fun, Mikey. I spent my day yesterday working on this painting. <laughs> Cause I really just like, I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of like over it. I really don't like to work on paintings. Like when I start to reach a week, I get, I get really anxious to finish it and then move on to something else. So yesterday I did, I did this much yesterday from this worm. This worm was the first thing I painted right here, which is like almost like half. I started here and I did this much yesterday. Pretty good progress, I think. I started this worm and ended on this worm. He's a little, he turned out a little like lumpy and wonky, but eh. Eh. I don't even have friends to get drunk with, same. 
Mikey, what was your drink of choice? What wasn't? You don't get hung over? Ah, oh, you're young. Give it a few years, Mikey. You'll get hung over after a few drinks. <laughs> it's like me. I like... I don't get drunk, but I'll get like... I'll drink a little. Too much, maybe. And then I'll be like... Completely hung over. For like no reason. That's 30 for you. I want to paint too? <laughs> you should paint. Do it. We're just having a chill time with our chill music. Get them paints out. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Paint, do it for me. Crafty, I saw some. Oh, that reminds me. Crafty, I saw something today. I could probably post this in the Discord, but here we are. <laughs> this is. It's the Craft Council of British Columbia! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wait, craft counselor? Hold up. I was looking at it and then Dave was like, crafty counselor. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I gotta I got take a photo. <laughs> hey, no ja ja jaws in chat. Only ha ha ha's. <laughs> ja 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 ja. Oh, Mikey, you young babe. <laughs> I drink beer, wine, vodka, Ron, and something I think was cider. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> mm. I love it. The way you do the color change with the grass is so satisfying. Thank you. Hey, English only in chat. What's going on? We have to s separate Mikey and Osdrilla. I have to lose, leave soon to help out the hubs hang some ceiling fans at the apartment complex. Ooh. It's a store of all my minions. <laughs> I don't know what they do in the craft council or in British Columbia, but. Or the, the craft council. It's very interesting, though, the craft council. We are the council of the crafts. Like, what? It's the language of the gods, what do you mean? Ja 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 intensifies. I know it's ha ha ha, but I can't help but look at it and think ja 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 ja. Ja 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 ja. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, I just realized I need insulin. I'm over here just like eating donuts, like my life is just... La 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 la. Hold on, let me slap up a BRB screen so I can get myself insulin. I'll keep talking though. Thank you for taking a picture. Now I can brag my husband I have a worshippers. Wow. On the last Behance chat, I painted something for you. It's in the mail! <gasps> You're gonna spoil me.
Give myself insulin, no big deal. Ja is yes in German, and every time I see Ja Ja Ja, I'm reading it as yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I still have autofocus on. Oops, sorry. Okay. All right, back at it. Actually, let me take a bite of donut. Don't mind me. Oh, this one's got raspberry jelly in it. My goodness. How? Oh. This music is kind of spooky. Actually, it reminds me of the um, Twilight song. <laughs> Behance is acting up. Oh, how many crowns do you have on Fall Guys? Um, depends. What do you ask? Am I? Are you asking how many do I currently like have? Are you asking like how many wins have I gotten? Because because the new season came out. And, like, you get crowns just by, like, achieving, like, getting points or whatever. Like, leveling up. I have, like, 20 crowns right now. <laughs> but I have not gotten those from winning. I've I've won, like, maybe, like, five of those <laughs> or something. So it kind of depends on... I'm not really sure what your question is exactly. Also, Mikey Rude, I did see that. Hi, I'm Mikey, and I'm rude for no reason. Hi, I'm Mikey, I'm insecure, so I, I mean to streamers on the internet. Make them cry at night. Yeah, I cry. Yeah, I cry, okay. I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit it. Wins? Hmm. I used to I used to keep track of them. Like every time I got a win, I would like mark it down because I was so excited and proud of myself. But eventually I was getting more than one win a day and I just like couldn't be bothered <laughs> to like mark them down. Or I would just like forget. Or I'd play in another room and I wouldn't have like where I was marking it. So at this point I really don't know how many wins I have in my life. Music is so magical. Oh! I say as it... Oh! I feel like we're going on an adventure. I feel like both something good and bad is about to happen. That hurt, Mikey, that hurt, but yeah. I have zero wins from from all the season. I suck. I usually get like if I play like an hour a day, I usually get like one a day at least. Usually, sort of, maybe. I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm pretty all right. I'm not like getting a bunch of wins, but I'm okay. I think. I'm making me donuts on the screen. 
What's going on? I'm confused. What are y'all screaming about? I don't think I like Mikey and Isdrilla teaming up like this. They scare me. That's not a duo I want to see. Mikey makes fun of me and I feel like Isdrilla is like one step away from making fun of me. <laughs> I don't like this duo. I'm scared. I feel threatened. I feel threatened. I'm gonna drown my feelings by eating a donut. It's a perfect duo. <laughs> I don't like it. I feel threatened. I'm scared. Please, spare me. Nom, 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 nom. I, bi I bend minds. I'm scared of this chat now. I bend reality. Oh God. See, together y'all are like dangerous. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. You know, no, I can't. It's be hands. I can't. You know what? I'll say it in the. I'll say it in the mod chat. Hold on. I'm like, I can't say this out loud. <laughs> All right, mod chat check. Mod chat check. Oh my god. Oh, bye, Israela! I have to go buy milk and never come back. Oh. Hey, I remember Chaos didn't understand that joke like months ago, I think. Chaos has grown up and learned our jokes about missing parents. I do, Casey. Oh. <laughs> we know you do, Mikey. Wow. I mean, I'm not saying you don't. I'm saying I'm surprised you didn't say that. <laughs> Don't be shy, mods. Tell us. Oh god. I can't. I I can't. Sadly. Gosh, cheer. Chair, please. 
everyone's gonna think I fart. I understood, the, I understood the joke this time, also the fungi joke. Oh. Puns. Puns in another language. My nose is really itchy, but I don't want to look like I'm picking my nose. <laughs> but it's so itchy! I do. I feel like that row took me too long for some reason. Casey didn't say that she's surprised I didn't say. Hey! <laughs> no, I certainly didn't say that. <laughs> oh boy. What is so tickly? I keep feeling like, do I have lice? <laughs> no, but I keep feeling little tickly things on my face. I forgot tomorrow's a holiday. I will be streaming, but I forgot tomorrow's a holiday. What holiday? I'm not sure, something Canadian. I mean, Dave has off work. Lucky bastard. Is he gonna be post pictures? Wait. Hub says the council thing is fine. Nikki finally completed his Casey voodoo doll. Wait, is that in like response to that weird doll he found in like his yard? That's why you're feeling the tingle. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It was a joke. <laughs> I'm crafty. I think it was a joke. I don't think it was actually a thing. <laughs> Hooray, so we're gonna post pictures.
I started school tomorrow again. Oh no. That was a quick summer break. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is August, so. Wow. Are you not looking forward to it at all, though? Like, as much as I would get sick of school, I did, like, look forward to starting it again. And I'd quickly be like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> When's the next break? I don't look forward now because it's online. Oh. That's lame. When we lurk in every stream, but Fridays, dang. We're gonna miss you, Mikey. I hate to admit it, but I think we will miss you. Listen to the sad music. We're just thinking about Mikey not being there. The world without Mikey. Ugh, I hope you're done soon. I, I didn't like school because of group work. Too stressful. Hey, hey, everyone digging the chill vibes. Hey, B. Yeah, we're, we're pretty chill today. But I think usually B hand streams are pretty chill. Today's like super chill. Chill vibes only. Exactly, or the differences in work ethic, writing style, etc. Yeah, but I think group work exists so that it prepares you for having to deal with those people like when you actually get a job. Because <laughs> you still have to deal with those people in the work environment, unfortunately. I think it's just like how life is in general. Maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong. What do I know? <laughs> Y'all think I know things? I don't know anything. Behance is good for chill art time? Yeah, Behance is good for, like, getting it done. <laughs> like, actually, like, working. <laughs> you know what I mean? That face when you like actually want to get it done.
Thank you, Rebecca, for being the teacher we all wished for. I like this painting because I imagine it's a group of ghost animals hanging out. See, that's why I like to make these little white creatures, because I know it's not like... I'm not trying to make it look like actually like a bunch of albino characters are hanging out. But I think it just gives this like sort of like mythical spirity vibe. Like it's tempting to add little like ghostly orby things around. I'll have to think about it. That might be something I like mock up in um, procreate when I'm done just to see if I want to add them. But yeah, that's, that's what I like about these. Oh, Rebecca said, I don't assign group work. The kids hate it. And someone always does more work because every group has a slacker. It's true. Thank you. Oh yeah. So thank you, Rebecca, for being the teacher we all wished for. Do you prefer Twitch or Behance streams? They both have their, um, they both have their features. I do like how, like, it's nice. I, I've been trying to take the weekends off, but then, like, the Behance streams happen. But it's nice because the Behance streams are really chill. So I don't have to worry about having, like, crazy high energy. And it's sort of like a get work done, just like watch me paint and work on something. No trolls. <laughs> Things are pretty chill. I like that because it's like a smaller group. I get to like look at you guys' artwork. Sometimes like we'll work on something together. I think that's really fun. But then Twitch, you know, if I'm feeling energetic, Twitch... Twitch can get a little crazy. I'm like roasting y'all. I think they're they're two different vibes, you know. I definitely look at Behance as a, a platform to actually get work done though, which is nice. Just focus on the art, less on the chaos. We do collaborative stuff, just not actual group work. Collaborative stuff's fun. You don't dare roasting me. That's not true, I'll roast you. I'll still roast, just not as much. Keep things a little more like, less aggressive here. No, I'm making this worm thick. Oh well. Twitch is nice because we have more ways of being silly with you. Yeah, there are emotes, which I do kind of miss. Like our emotes and like alerts and stuff. But I think that's part of the chaos, so, you know, like, without all those crazy things and, like, the clutter, it's a lot more chill and, like, art-focused, I guess, here. In my mind, Twitch is for making stuff and joking around a while. Behance feels more like we're all doing our own thing, but also chatting, if that makes sense. I think Behance is more serious, and I don't know what the word is. Professional is what comes to mind, and Twitch is more playful. Yeah, that's why I kind of feel weird about, like, 
being crude and cursing here because it feel it feels like more of an art focused professional setting. I don't yeah, professional isn't quite the word. It's just more like mature, maybe. But also I was thinking that too, the it's kinda like Twitch is like you invite your friends over for a drink and draw, but Behance is like you invite your friends over to like work on your, your like freelance work. <laughs> so you're like you're all focused and quiet and chatting. Whereas Twitch is like you're drinking and drawing and being crazy. Basically. Something like that. I need to whip out the heat gun. Not that Twitch artists aren't pros. It's a whole different vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're all on the same page. Twitch is shots and nachos. Behance is wine and charcuterie. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm drawing clouds. Hell yeah. And I want a cheese platter. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I used to love charcuteries and now I'm just like, I just want the cheese plates. I don't even want charcuteries anymore. Just give me the cheese. And I want the meat. are fun. Are you drawing my photo? Huh? Twitch is what Behance is on the weekends, not getting shit done and being done with your friends. <laughs> yes, working on the background. You're drawing a photo of Eric's? A photo of Eric's? Oh, here's a classic song. Where's my gray? Where's my gray? <laughs> what? Where is it? Oh, it ran out. <laughs> Pretty sure I bought another one. Oh, what if I didn't buy another one? That would be so funny. I did buy another one. Lord help me, I'm about to line my work on the sticker with acrylic paint and a huge brush. <gasps> Wait, like my sticker? You're doing my sticker? I might need to refresh in my water. It's kind of like dirty and gross.
Gucci. Sticker. I haven't checked the tag in a minute. I should probably check it one day soon. I think not this coming week, but the next week's video is going to be this me, me doing my own stickers. Okay, there's, there's none. I wonder if there's any on Twitter. I think the art one, the art one's my favorite. I think most people like the character one because everyone has so many characters. The art one's my favorite. <laughs> no one's posted it at all. Womp, womp, womp. Can't wait to see it when you're done, Kazzy. Same. Haven't watched your most recent video. <gasps> Mikey, I'm sorry. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> How dare. I'm just thinking about how I want to... I'm thinking about the flow of light. Like, I don't know if I just want this to be like a chunk that comes out and then goes back in. Or if I want it to go all the way across. I kind of want it to go all the way across. Lots of classic songs. I know this is classical music, but not... It doesn't mean they're gonna use all the, like, classic songs. Mikey's a fake fan. Now I hate... No, I ha now I have a kitty on my lap. The odds are stacked against my favorite. Do you really expect anything of Mikey, though? Yeah, you're right. I mean, it just leads to disappointment. Keep expectations low, because disappointment will be high. Like my mother always said about me, Jesus Christ, B. <laughs> Good God. Here y'all go projecting again. <laughs> Here goes the chat. Trauma dumping. <laughs> I feel like I haven't heard this song in a long time. I feel like a lot of 90s movies use this song. And they stopped like using it in movies. For some reason. Like when something outrageous was happening. Maybe movies don't really do that outrageous scene stuff anymore. Who knows? Y'all are so rude. <laughs> you say that, but you secretly enjoy the attention. 
I'm always rude to you, Mikey. Why are you surprised? Mikey's like, Mikey is so rude to us as soon as we give him back. He can't handle it. <laughs> mm, sounds like someone else I know. Mm, sounds like someone else I'm familiar with. I'm not gonna name any names. Why do I have a glob of paint on my brush? My god. I globbed it too much. Dave? No. Well, at least I don't leave the stream. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you- Wait, are you talking- Are you talking about Dave? What's going on? I was not talking about Dave. Oh, Niku. Oh god, this color's like the same as the previous color. Oh, now it's like super dark. Also, wow, Mikey attacking people who aren't even here to defend themselves. Yikers. Kind of a low blow. Mikey. You can barely see. Oh, I literally can't push it up anymore. Bad, bad coffee. Lightly roasted is good. Dark roast is bad. That's all roast B. <laughs> the roasted B, eh? I don't think I've ever ate a bug. I know you can eat bugs, but I don't think I have. Also, bees are like endangered. Do people eat bees? People eat ants and beetles. I don't think they eat 
bees. Bees are too useful, I think, to go around eating. Quick, spray him with water bottle. I haven't cried in like three hours. Let's keep that train. Oh, here we go. Trauma dumping again. God. <laughs> oh god. Eating bees. Yeah, people eat bugs. People eat bugs. I don't know what the specific bugs. But Now honeybees are endangered. Are bumblebees endangered? I don't know the difference <laughs> between a honeybee and a bumblebee. One bumbles and one honeys. Another layer done. I guess I could always tilt my camera forward a little bit. I might have to. Though it's nice seeing, seeing all of this. But we're getting to the point where I'm gonna be like behind the camera. Let's just tilt it forward a little bit. There we go. Better. I actually could zoom in a little bit too. <laughs> That's about it though. <laughs> Can't zoom in anymore. Bumblebees are super dang cute. So thick and fluffy. <laughs> okay, it seems conservation groups are trying to get bumbles put on the endangered species list, but they're not there yet. Just, you know, because we were all curious. Hey, conversation is conversation. Conversation is conversation. I, pre I appreciate it. I'd rather y'all talk about random stuff than nothing at all. Let's sit in silence. I should put a few beads on this one. I have that. The one painting I did of the bear. I would like to, I would like to use those bees and the other ones too, because they're just so cute.
Pickles are so cute. They're the... What, what are the... Oh, okay, I guess I could just Google this, but... What are the ones that make... What do honeybees look like, then? What is the difference between a honeybee and a, a bumblebee? Do not, do not all bees make honey? I'm afraid I don't actually know the difference between the bees. I've been outed. The song's kind of spooky. I'm finding a lot of classical music a little spooky, <laughs> apparently. Honeybees are less bright, fat, and fluffy than bumblebees. But bumblebees are quite large and they look fuzzy. Bumblebees are great for pollination, but they don't make honey. Oh. I had no idea. Are honeybees the only bee that makes honey? Am I just not learning that? Am I an idiot? <laughs> yes. I'll say it before Mikey does, yes. I'm an idiot. Yes, Mikey can roast myself. I don't need you. Thank you. Bumblebees are great. Oh, never mind. Read that. <laughs> Read it already. You just didn't know. No, you are not an idiot. You're just not realizing that now. You just didn't know that yet. <sighs> no problem. Farm life occasionally teaches me stuff. My farmer landlord keeps bees, and it was kind of cool. Interesting. Living on a farm. Cheer! Cheer, you're too squeaky. Okay, we've got some church music or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Dang! I like this painting a lot, Casey. Thanks. How dare you like it. Thanks to Chaos for coming here and changing the subject to be more positive. <laughs> I'm like, Mikey! I was going to sweep the porch earlier, but I found a slug on the broom. I'm going to wait for it to slide away. Not a fan of slippery, slimy creatures. Ew. 
<laughs> oh, I'm hyped, Chaos. Oh, you mean, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, surely she's talking about me. <laughs> Casey, I love my painting. Eric, I like my painting, too. Casey, your ass is squeaky, not the chair. Oh, my God. Someone come lube up my ass. <laughs> Take that as you will. Take that however you would like. I'm going to change the subject. So bees, eh? <laughs> LOL? <laughs> Mikey, what's so funny? Mikey, I don't get it. What's so... What are you, la what are you laughing about? Did I miss a joke? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? What are you so confused about? I don't, I don't get it. At least her farts sound funny. <laughs> Casey says that someone should lube her up, then changes the subject abruptly. That's a smooth transition. <laughs> well, my butt's squeaky. I don't want my butt to be squeaky. It sounds annoying. Gotta lube it up. Lube up my butt up. I will, I will just ignore. We're trying to, we're trying to talk about butts over here. ourselves a winner <laughs> oh you gotta go crafty all right thanks for hanging out oh that is so dark oh my god okay i'm sad i'll miss out on this and no, i think the ass talk is quickly moving on. I think. I hope. <laughs> I think and I hope and I hope and I think. I think that I hope. Crafty's got some counseling to do.
We've done one, two, three, four, five rows in like an hour and a half. Yikers. That's taken a minute. It's only taking a while. That's okay. I think I was supposed to paint a worm. Oh well, I'll paint the worm next. Next row. Some mosquito on my wall? Uh oh. Oh no. Can I fly through this leaf green? I. I went out to get one tube, but I honestly wondered if I should have gotten two. Just because I feel like I use. Especially for this like really big painting. I'm just flying through this color. And it's. I don't know. It's kind of a pain to go to the art store. I didn't want to have to go back, but I didn't want to buy like a bazillion tubes of paint. So I only got one. Now I'm wondering if I should have gotten two. <laughs> You can barely see the difference in these colors. Oh no, Chaos, run! It's gonna poke you! Burn your house, Chaos! Oh my god. Buzz next to my ear. <laughs> I hate that when you're like trying to sleep, like laying in bed and you just hear and you're just like, God. Dang it. Dave goes into like crazy hunter mode when he hears a mosquito. Destroy all of them. <laughs> ah! Did Chaos just get murdered by the mosquito? <laughs> Rip? Rip?
At least you have a Dave. I have to hunt them alone. Womp womp. I got mosquito nests over my windows and it's amazing. No bugs for me. No bugs for me. Good for you, Eric. We're so happy for you. And your bug free life. So happy for you. What a great life you must live. I'm Eric, and I have bug nets. <laughs> Life is so good over here in the Netherlands? I don't know where you live. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh no. Fake fan, fake fan. Um, oh, I wish there was an independent art store around here with reasonable driving distance. I tried to buy some brushes and paint from Hobby Lobby not long ago and all I could find was their own brand of shit. That's weird. I gotta go. Bye, Mikey. Oh, Norway. <laughs> Shoot. Norway. Stinky Norway. <laughs> I heard everyone from Norway is stinky. Especially if their name is Eric. <laughs> Casey gets canceled. How to get canceled? <laughs> Say everyone from a country stinks. Casey roasts a whole nation. That's right. Watch out. How did I just get red in my brush? I don't even know the last time I used red. There was like a red crusty in my brush. Excuse me. Silly Norway has higher standards of living ranking within the UN. I wanna go to Norway one day. It looks damn nice. Yeah, I wanna go I wanna go places. You know, Hobby Lobby is pretty garbage on many levels, oh god. Fair. I may not be jealous of the quality of life rating. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want to be unhappy? Okay, I think this is a good time to take a pee break or two hours in. And I want to pee. Permission chat to pee? Oh, I want to pee and also freshen up my water because my water's all green and gross. Not my drinking water. <laughs> my drinking water's baldy. My paint water's all green. Do 
Do you know back in yield Viking days, English dudes hated the Norsemen because they kept stealing all the ladies by bathing and caring about their parents? Sounds honestly very similar to like modern day men. I saw a really funny TikTok that was like, why, why are women so picky these days? It's like, bruh, it's because women like have rights and like. We can vote and have our own bank accounts, and uh, we don't need men now. <laughs> so, so now women are like actually able to choose men, and we don't have to like just choose them for their wealth or whatever to make sure we're like not dying. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go pee. Thank you so much for the permission, um, Eric and. Elspeth, Kezi, and Nelly, you two can leave, actually. <laughs> crusty bro's always been crusty and salty. <laughs> Ew. Okay. I'm gonna go pee. Um, trying to have too much fun without me. We're making some progress, y'all. We've done this much. This chunk, right where this worm is. We've done that much. It's like an inch and a half. No, it's not. It's like two and a half inches. Look at me go. Look at me go. Only ten and a half inches left to go. Oh, we're about two thirds done. That's exciting. We have some quite some big characters to color and a lot of color. A lot of characters actually. I'm like, can I finish this today? No, no absolutely not. Alright, let's hang out and have fun alone. Okay, bye. I guess it's chat stream now.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, it took a minute. Uh, I had to vacuum up a spider. <laughs> yeah, that song got- I came down here and I was like, damn, that music's loud. <laughs> Oops. Looking at, looking at chat. Volume suddenly go burr. <laughs> Sorry. I, tr I just turned it up to 100%. Uh, maybe that was a little too much. My bad. And of course it depends on the song and the intensity. So I don't understand my parents' generation being amazed that an eight-year-old knows how to program VCRs. Heard my seven-year-old explaining to my six-year-old how to make an app on their tablet work, talking about scrolling and which buttons to press. We're the only house neighborhood that had a rotary phone. None of our peers knew how to use it. God. Oh boy. Oh boy. Anyway, got my clean water. And I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, I gotta paint a worm. We're painting this, this long boy over here. Can I zoom in on him? Wee little bit. <laughs> it's okay, Casey. Uh, good. I'm glad you can forgive me. I also didn't put eyes on this guy. Oh well. We can add eyes in a minute. This worm is too long, it's intimidating. Like, how's, how long does a bro gotta be? Oh, okay. Tra la 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 la. Uh, I'm 35. I think I'm three, maybe four years older. Oh, than me? I have to keep reminding myself that I'm only two years older than Casey. <laughs> yeah, I know how to use a rotary phone. <laughs> I mean, the thing about rotary phones is like, it's not like rotary phones were a thing in the 90s, but I guess we just had more media that had them, I suppose. I mean, yeah, because like I never used one, obviously. What am I, 80? But I saw TV shows and stuff use them, so it's not hard to just watch someone use a thing and know how it works. This song seems a little loud. <laughs> Music go! <laughs> See me frolicking in the field. <laughs> the queen is coming, the queen is coming. Quickly bake your best, bake your best goods and cakes and play the trumpets for the queen. I 
gather your children for sacrifice. I mean... Uh... Alright, this worm is lumber. He's like... I'm like, I don't even know where to go. I'm like freaking out. All right. Breathe, Casey, breathe. I was raised by my grandparents, so I grew up with a lot of the same stuff with that my parents did. Interesting. The worm needs a little bit thicker on this side, but I gotta be honest, I think I'm too scared. I say as I go to do it. I just know I'm gonna try to make him a little thicker and he's gonna get way thicker. Okay, I made him a little thicker, but it wasn't much. <laughs> I'm hunched. A moth? Oh my god, chaos. I killed it and I feel bad. Oh no. Heat gun time. Heat gun go burr. I think I need to. I need to thicken it. I, it's just so. It's just so obvious to me how how much thinner it is in that little area. Take it slow, Casey. Take it slow. Okay, I think I fixed it. Maybe. Mm. 
Now this looks thin up here. God. <laughs> How's it going? My sticker thing is in Discord. <gasps> oh my god, look at that little guy. Oh my god, look at the details on those items. Jeez. You, you got so much detail in those tiny little squares. That's crazy. Music is peaceful as hell. Yeah. I really like the beat. A lot of the time my beat hand streams are like it's like chill. Chill art times. Got the classical music going. You know, just like hanging out, having a, having a chill time. Uh, I also like to call this the Andrew Free Zone, so. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. What's good, my dick? I like doing tiny stuff is my jam. Um, may I interest you in a teeny weeny challenge? No, I'm sure. No, that's like crazy tiny details. I can't even imagine. Why is my watch popping off? What is going on? Are you asking me what's good, my dude? Sorry, are you talking to me? <laughs> my watch just keeps vibrating and I'm not really sure why. I mean, if I look, look at it, I know why, but I'm like, Patreon, chill, please. Liking the new hair color, thanks. <laughs> it's looking a little more purple right now yeah it's like it's a little fun little change something we did on the patreon stream fun times oh shoot why did that why did his eye explode can someone please tell me why his eye exploded He has a black eye. Your watch wants attention, I know. Okay, I'm gonna have to paint back over that with white. Sadly. There's a hair. All right. <laughs> 
my McGee over here. I just feel like I'm making so much progress and I have to stop and paint a creature and I'm like, <sighs> hurry up. <laughs> You're taking too long. I finished my clouds, I guess. I don't know, but I also don't want to overwork the painting. Why did it get unplugged? Is there a ghost? Hello, ghost? No, oh, no, our worm! Our worm fell over. Oh, I'm gonna cry if that falls off the desk. And berate. I got alcohol inks in this one scrawler box. I'm excited. I've never worked with them. I always want to give inks a little bit more of a go, but um, apparently inks can be very similar to just like unact unreactive <laughs> unreactivatable watercolor. But the few times I've worked with them, I haven't really... They've been kind of hard to work with. I don't know if that's my vibe. So, I don't know. B, did I send you Yepo paper too? Yepo paper. Covering up the black, apparently. I keep seeing a smudge of it. Waiting for it to dry. Good for making backgrounds and dyeing paper pulp. Paper pulp. Dyeing paper pulp. Hmm, interesting. Yo, paper pulp. Hell yeah, I'm trying to get one of my friends to attempt in making paper, so that's a cool thing to know. I want to make paper. I mean, like, as a kid, you know, they'd be like, oh, let's make paper, and you'd, like, do it. But I want to, like, really try to make paper. Not that kitty bologna. But, like, adult paper, if you know what I mean. That good, good adult paper. I 
I did acrylic pouring the other day. It was so much fun, but heck, my living room was a mess. How'd it turn out? Mine looks like a hot garbage. I don't think I care for acrylic pouring. I gave it quite the half-assed attempt. I'll admit, but I knew, probably because I knew going into it, I wasn't gonna care for it. I've seen people like get some cool effects with it, but I don't think it's just, I don't think it's for me. The song makes me feel like I'm about to run out of time. I'm like, okay, okay, I gotta finish the thing. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> Adult paper 18 plus GSM. That stands for good Sexual? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. Good golly sexually made. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Moans you! <laughs> God. Guaranteed sexual moans when using this paper. <laughs> Good sexual moans, someone copyright that quick. <laughs> Guaranteed sexual, sexual, sexual moans while using our paper. This paper is so good, it will make you sexually moan. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Good sexual, you know, that was bad sexual moans. I'm missing the dark colors, y'all. I also know that, oh, I'm like. I also know that like the characters, the white characters obviously pop off of like the darker colors a lot better. So I'm a little worried if I'm going to be doing too much of these light colors. I just didn't want the illustration I guess to be too dark. I was kind of thinking about doing like, god don't look at this mess. I was thinking about doing like a light chunk going across, but that would be so much. But I also don't want it to be too little. I might just go ahead and make it thin and go shoop, and the rest can be kind of darker medium colors. 
Because I just, I love the way, like, these dogs and worms are just so much more, like, bam, compared to, like, the cats and stuff over here in the lighter section. I mean, it's nice to have a mix, but I don't want too much light. I want a little more dark, I think. So maybe I'll go ahead and start fading in some dark colors. Fade out that light. Light is over party. What is going on? Oh, nothing weird, that's for sure. <laughs> Casey, the sweat. Oh, I'm like still zoomed out. Let's get back in there. Oh. Oh, you know, nothing, nothing weird in my chat. My chat would never be weird. Never, never. In my Christian family friendly Minecraft server? No. No. Never. Yo, we get to paint this bunny next. Isn't that exciting? I want to paint a little bunny. Casey Golden is the devil. Mm. Oh, cute evil music. <laughs> What's with this music all of a sudden? I feel, I feel attacked. Do you see many bunnies where you are? Um, a little bit. There are bunnies here. There's a lot more bunnies on Vancouver Island, I think. But I am also, you know, not in like a fieldy area. Just now realizing how patchy this worm is. Maybe. Yo, this music right when he says the devil. What? Why? What are you what are you asking about bunnies for? What you asking about bunnies for? Oh, that's my best Kathy Bates accent. That's not that lady from Wife Swap, is it? Who's Kathy Bates? Nope, I don't know who that is. 
Oh, <laughs> who is, she looks familiar. She is, oh, she was like in a sitcom. Um. Just give me her internet movie database. Come on, let's move. Oh, Titanic. Okay. All my children. <laughs> King of the Hill! <laughs> she did a voice in King of the Hill. I don't watch a lot of things. I don't even know why I'm looking at her internet movie database because I don't really watch things. <laughs> She's been in a ton of shit, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Saw a bunny last week, it stood very still. <laughs> yeah, because you were going to eat it. It didn't want you to like, it was hoping you didn't see it so you wouldn't eat it. A water boy? I haven't actually seen that. Oh, we're supposed to be painting a bunny. Hey, you know what? I already loaded up my brush. Let's just go. <laughs> I'll paint the bunny when I get to it. How's that sound? Then again, if I painted the bunny now, I wouldn't have to wait for it to dry. We're at a, we're at a predicament here. Wait, what? Are you are you referencing things? I know the boy ain't right. I know, I know, King of the Hill. But Water Boy, I do not know. I just got black acrylic paint on my white top. Always wear an apron when you're painting. Chaos and shirts you don't really care too much about. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Have I taught- have I taught you nothing? Eh? Have I taught you nothing? Have you learned? Nothing on the Casey Golden Channel. Oh, Gatorade! I was like, Gato Raid. I've been on Twitch too much, I guess. Gato Raid! <laughs> You're like, uh, Casey, it's Gatorade. They yell it at Waterboy because they say Gatorade is better for football players than good old fashioned water. 
If I was too lazy to change, I don't have an apron. Oh, chaos. Now that's some high quality H2O. These sound like some really good references, y'all. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm not salty, you're salty. Two worms to paint. I have a bunny and two worms to paint in one go. Wow. These are wild times. Absolutely wild. Is an Adam Sandler movie, right? I just never really got into like comedy movies, just like never tickle my tickler. <laughs> tickler. I don't think it's my sort of like comedy, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. These crazy times we're living in. <laughs> oh yeah. You ever paint two worms and a bunny? It's wild. Like, don't let the music deceive you. It's actually kind of getting crazy in here. I might get banned off of Behance. Like, it might be out of control. We might be breaking a few rules, honestly. Chaos has paint on her shirt. Casey has two worms to paint. Brody and I are off in the left field, quoting Adam Sandler. <laughs> Crazy times. Yeah, how they let me on this platform, like, damn. Behance was really taking a risk with this one. Folks. Honestly, I don't like things like comedy. I usually don't like things that are trying. That's my problem is like, I think the fact, well, it's not only that they're trying to make me laugh that it makes me not laugh. Cause like, I do find a lot of the stuff like that just like not funny. But like things like stand up comedy, absolutely not, a absolutely not. I, I would be shocked to find a stand up bit that like makes me laugh. I don't know, I just find the, the type of humor in comedy movies to just not, not be my type of humor. Like, it's always, 
like really stupid humor. And I'm not saying I'm highbrow or anything. <laughs> Certainly not. It's just it always seems to be like just really stupid. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it without just completely insulting anyone who enjoys comedy movies. Uh. I made that worm too thick. What's new? Yesterday I watched a VTuber play through Visage for a few hours. That's the kind of life I live. I've been really into thriller suspenseful shows on Netflix lately. I like dark comedy. I'm gonna head out now. Thanks for the chill stream, Casey. See you later. Bye, Kezzy. Thanks for hanging out. Damn, he thick. What am I doing? This worm's got like a little hunchback situation. I think the rest of the worms, these long worms are stressing me out because they're so easy to make lumpy. And I try to thicken them and they make them too thick. Just like finally, I think like all the worms that are remaining in this painting are pretty short. I've paid my thick worm dues. Dues? Is that, is that proper English? <laughs> Comedy Central is amazing when it first started. And now it's not. Should I give the bunnies puffy tails? Maybe, well, I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe I should. All right, literally all my colors have dried up. <laughs> Let's see if I can't make some more. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's still wet. Okay. Interesting. I like to put a little bit of blue with gray and then a little bit of black. It's closed, Casey. What are you doing? I haven't painted any rocks for a minute. Weird. Oh my god, was that too much black? I put one little tiny drop, oh no. Okay, I might have to add some white to it. That looks excessively dark. Oh my god, that looks hella dark. Oh no.
This is gonna be a disaster. This is how you end up with too much paint. This is actually looking like a better color for rocks, but I only have like two rocks to paint. Okay, how dark is this? It's a little dark. Okay, I might just need to add... I don't want to keep adding white or I'm going to waste white. That's the thing. You don't add white to things, you add things to white. I say as I literally do what I say not to do. I did a little swatch, so I'm gonna hold it next to another section that I have a shaded white. Just look at a little dark. Okay, I was gonna paint the mane of the horses a light gray anyway, so I guess this works out, maybe. <laughs> oh, I got too much gray, no. I goofed. I ding old ding, ding dong goofed. I ding old ding ding goofed. I'm a professional paint waster, what can I say? No one can waste paint like me. Nobody. I dare you to find someone else who can waste paint like I can. It's slightly dark, but I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Am I gonna worry about it? Okay, fine, I'll worry about it. Um, just like just lighten it a little bit and let's just move on. Lighten it a little bit and we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. I say as I refuse to move on. Okay, I wanna actually, where's a crappy brush? Oh, the one I'm using. <laughs> I wanna make that bunny's tail poofy. So basically I'm just gonna be jamming my brush into the 
the page. Professional goof! Yeah, it's me. Professional paint waster. Maybe that should be my new title. Hi, what do you do for a living? Oh. I waste paint. <laughs> I'm a professional paint waster. Oh, what's that? I'm sorry, what does that mean? Oh, uh, I waste paint. It's exactly what it sounds like. Why? Oh no, I don't do it on purpose. I, it's, it's an accident, I promise. Why don't you just like, not? Wow, that's a really good suggestion. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Um, it's because I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of dumb, so... Yeah. Oh, I'm so, so I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No, it's fine. I'm used to it. Yeah, it's a... It's a problem I live with. Also, I'm a professional worm thickener, apparently. It's made that bad boy thick as hell. Is he thick? Yeah, he's thick. Yeah, he's thick. <laughs> Is Chad dead at the moment? Nah, no one's talking. <laughs> nah, I'm just talking to myself. Everyone's here for me to like, just talk to myself, I think. <laughs> It's okay. I'm used to it. <sighs> Just means I get I get to get more work done. Less chat and more painting. Woo! Get it done. Get it done. Actually, while well, that's drying. Paint to the tail by jamming my brush into it. I was listening to an episode of Gold Can't Stay while listening yet while cleaning yesterday. Now I can't stop randomly thinking the phrase Gaijin Goof. I forgot about Gaijin Goof. Spooky music. That's dark. I'm not playing too dark. Pretty cute. It's a little poof ball. <laughs> a little poof. You guys are busy making lights. 
also, I'm just listening to you talk to yourself. I'm animating. I'm working on putting dates in my new teacher plan. <laughs> I'm talking to you, little. <laughs> it's me and you, Chaos. It's me and you. My nose is itchy. Chaos, if there's one thing you could just like snap your fingers and be better at with drawing, like like backgrounds, hands, anatomy, I don't know. What's the one thing you would improve to like bypass the struggles of practicing? I is some Kai Kai snap and get rid of art block. Is that a thing? <laughs> Just like constant motivation. Then I would be motivated to get better at everything. <laughs> that seems like a weird answer. Animals? Oh. Fluffy bunny tails, cute. I'm drawing an alpaca dragon blowing bubbles in space. Couldn't decide which medium to use, so I'm using Posca gouache and colored pencils. What kind of paper are you using? Like, like a mixed medium? Mixed media paper? I said chaos. Oh no, you can answer too. I was just talking to chaos because no one else was talking. <laughs> now nah, you're allowed to answer. Um, I want to answer too. Mine would be figure drawing. Trying to f draw figures is the bane of my existence. Also the fact I always make my paint too dark or light because I can never remember that it dries differently. Always swatch! Always swatch. That tail is really poofy. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. My figure drawing scares me. Someday, maybe. If you want to chat on voice chat, oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, welcome to the Chaos Casey Show. Sloppy job painting this.
I want to take a photo of this bunny's face because it's cute. Now I remember what it looks like. Group, the group voice call while y'all played Fall Guys was hilarious. We gotta play Fall Guys again. Music was that big. Come oh on, this is very cinematic music. Such a cute misshaping the body of that bunny. I just finished my painting. It's not perfect, but I really like it. Nice, nice, nice. Are you gonna post it in the art room? Making it on Bristol paper, thought I was only going to use colored pencil. Oh no. I'm holding my breath so bad. Ugh. <laughs> oh no, I'm so scared. Oh shoot, it was lumpy. breath holding oh my goodness I'm gonna pass out The lighting's bad, but I might take Butterfix tomorrow in daylight. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, it's so colorful. What the heck? I like that. 
Oh my god, I love the sky! The clouds are beautiful! Dang, chaos! Chaos went hard. Rebecca Lancaster. Wait, I thought Rebecca was leaving. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> oh, you are. Okay, okay. Goodbye. Gotta run. The kid and I are headed to the office depot. <laughs> Have fun. I'm sorry. Did you say office depot or Home Depot? <laughs> you said office depot. I can post my lace. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Post it. Post away. My chair just ugh, constant farts. Like why? We don't need constant fart sounds over here. Like I guarantee you we do not. <laughs> True. Truly.
This poor bunny has like very lumpy eyes. I was struggling. I was struggling with it. I'm like, do I want to give the bunny arms? I kind of don't. Oh, should I give it? I didn't have a mouth for him, but I'm like. Maybe I should have. <laughs> Classic. My God, that lace, that looks insane. What? What am I even looking at? <laughs> that looks so complicated. Jeez. What are you, like, what are you making with the lace? That's insane. Y'all are crazy. Feast your eyes upon my latest hobby. Anyway, back to painting grass, eh? Back at it. Never seen making late, I know, right? I make absolutely nothing. I could sell it on Etsy by the yard if I wanted, but personally, it's just a way to keep my hands busy while watching YouTube or whatever. How long does it take you to do like a foot, like a foot of lace? Sounds like an epic adventure is about to happen with this music. We're going on an adventure, y'all. A couple dozen more bobbins coming in soon, and I'll get to make the more intricate patterns. If I work in uninterrupted with this pattern, I could do a foot in about an hour. That sounds like you'd have to charge so much. <laughs> that seems like a very expensive like art craft, art craft, art form. That's truly insane. Oh my god. And I can draw, I can't even draw a stick figure. Wow. <laughs> oh, Bunny in the Grass is cute. I like him. Good job, Bunny in the Grass. I like you.
I'm not sure if I want to manually move them again, delete those frames and start over, or hammer undo like my life depends on- wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, I spent the last 30 minutes animating a kitten and realized the way- I way overdid it and the legs are weird. Oh no! The next time you see a lacy Victorian gown for 1800s, keep in mind that people had to hand make that shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Handmade clothes are crazy. Especially like detailed ones. Oh, the bunny! It's a little face. Oh, the buns is adorable. I just think the tail is like so textured compared to anything else. It's kind of nice. A nice little different texture in there. Having trouble with this paint layering on the white for some reason. Yay, chaos productivity! Really think I am getting sick of these light colors and I'm just like ready to move on back to the dark colors for some reason. Don't know why I'm like so suddenly sick of them. I think what it might be is because usually I do these paintings at such a smaller scale that I bounce between all the colors a lot more rapidly. But doing it this way, I get kind of like stuck using the same colors for a while and I get like so sick of them. Like even one- doing one row is like doing two rows for me usually. You can't see the texture of the bunny's tail? Yeah. <laughs> the camera's really far away. And I'm too lazy to pick up the painting. This is now a podcast stream. You're just here to listen. No looking at art, just look just talking about it. No looking. Oh my god, this is like really dark. <laughs> Maybe too dark too fast. Let's bring it back down, case. Okay, we went too light there. Horse butt. Do you have a specific plan for the light dark areas? Uh, not really. I just kind of like have it go back and forth. I'm kind of fit. This one's gonna be like a thin stripe. I think I'm gonna start making it get darker already. And I think I'm gonna keep the rest of the painting kind of medium with some dark areas. I just, uh, I don't know if you were here earlier when I was talking about the light and dark areas. I just feel like 
these pieces benefit more from the darker areas just because the characters are so light it looks really nice when they're like popping off of that dark grass instead of like the lighter grass doesn't really do them too many favors The contrast makes sense. It does, it does. I also, I think I'm just like partial to the like, the blue, the blue greens in the greens rather than like the yellow greens. It's a nice, I like these colors are nice, but I do love like the way the dark areas look way more. And that beautiful. Welcome to the Grass and Classical Music Podcast, <laughs> where we listen to classical music and talk about grass. What's up, grass lovers? It's your girl, Casey the Grass. Today we're going to be painting, <laughs> you guessed it, grass. Sillies. Did you think I was going to paint anything else? It's consumed my life! I literally cannot stop. Please dial 911. I do need help. I asked Dave to help me and he just laughs at me and walks away. So I am now reaching out to y'all. Help. You're making the unit count <laughs> with a few more colors. Are you gonna keep it white? Uh, I was gonna keep it white. Now I'm like rainbow horse, huh? No, <laughs> now nah, I wanna keep them white. They're all white. I'll probably give him gray hair, but he's gonna be white. Case of the gray. Uh, anything to paint? Probably could technically paint this worm. Do I want to? Eh, why not? Let's paint a worm. Short little worm, thank goodness. Those long ones were so stressful. Just cause yourself stress. <laughs> no, just me. No, I'm joking. A very classic artist move. Drum, drum. I 
I gotta go! Small humans wish to swim, and I should probably keep an eye on them so no drowning occurs. I love the chill today. Thanks for hanging out, B. Have fun with your little humans. I'm actually about to end the stream anyway. You won't be missing much. Surprised with how much we've gotten done today. I mean, not that surprised, but you know. There he is. Yeah, I think. Oh, bye, Casey, too. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, oh my god, no, Kupari, no, I'm literally ending. <laughs> no! It's so sad. It's so sad. This is the most depressing entrance ever. <laughs> we got quite a good chunk done. I could almost get the whole thing. Jeez Louise. Almost get the whole thing in. We did this much today. Like this big chunk. Right here. Whew. I kind of want to try my best to like finish the grass today. I honestly probably could. I only have this, this much left. Which is quite a bit but oh well at least I got to say hi work is working me right now oh, no is this gouache yes acrylic gouache it's looking really nice thanks Eric still quite a bit to go but <laughs> it looks so long I feel like I'm just scrolling forever yeah quite a bit left to go but I must carry on. So I missed the mail stream and Twitch clip is I think the audio thing I use is made for Twitch. It's specifically made. It's like called Twitch something. I think I have it connected wrong though cuz they said it shouldn't mute your things if it's connected properly. If it's not connected properly, it might mute them. So I think it's not connected properly, sadly. Annoyingly. I zoomed into my profile picture and now I like it more. <laughs> All right, guys. I think, um, I don't think, I know. This is it. This is the end of the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Another chill Behance stream in the bag. Hope you guys had fun watching me work on this huge freaking piece. It has been a piece. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I'm just kind of like, want it done. But anyways. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. And I will see you guys next Sunday for another Baha stream. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow if you follow me on Twitch. Thanks for the stream. Bye, Eric. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see ya next week or tomorrow.
गुड बाय